See the terciopelo right there? Fertile ants. Hey, hey, big terciopelo, full size adult, laid up right there. Look at that guy. He's thinning the selfie stick. Kind of not surprised we saw him because it's raining so much uh, and they kind of move around then. But he's beautiful. I'm gonna get another angle of him for you. This is right by one of our favorite trail cameras. Look at him. One of the things to notice about this guy is, it's, hopefully it's gonna remain calm, you never know. With uh, both drops Asper, Fertile Ants, Cersei Palos, they can get real jumpy really fast. So we're gonna need to close up. The light that I'm using gives off some heat. So they're pit vipers and the pit detects heat. So no telling what's gonna happen. like a big female. All right, Joseph Palo, we will not bother you any longer. Look at there. All right, Jersey Palo, good luck, buddy. See my boot right there? See the Tercio Palo right there? Fertile ants, just a baby, very close to my boot. Almost stepped on it, almost stepped on it. Very close. Check out that guy, just a baby, probably maybe a year old, I don't know. Bothrops, Asper, Fertilance, the most common problem of snake bites in all of Costa Rica because they are so camouflage and they live close to uh, houses and things like that. Uh, we're way up in the woods and so this one's not really a threat huh? if you don't step on it. Pretty cool interaction there with the snake uh, acting up when I move this little twig here with my snake hook. All right, both drops aspirin. Very cool. Tercio pelo. Probably about a meter long.
A little bit of yellow tail there. A little bit of a yellow tail there. And there you go. Little tiny terciopelo. Last day of uh, in the forest, we usually have a terciopelo that we come across. Look at that yellow tail. Uses it as a caudal lure to attract prey. Lizards, frogs, things like that. What a beauty. All right, Tercio, see you, buddy. Get on down there. Hide. Another Tercio Palo stretched like that. I will see if I can get past him without alarming him. There we go. Ooh, break on through the other side. It's a really a narrow passage there with about three feet away from the Terciopelo. Both drops Asper, Fertilance. Now we can get, come on here and take a closer look at this guy. Or gal, probably a guy, let's see. He's uh, probably over a meter long, close to four feet, I would guess. Anyway, one of the things you'll notice is it's not, uh, huh, it hasn't become aggressive yet. Uh, sometimes they get a little riled up uh, and you think they're aggressive. At least some people do. However, oh, let's see, he's gonna move on now. Oh, there you go, Snakey. Well, he's got a really pronounced venom gland on one side. The other side is kind of flat. Probably going to coil up. Hey, he's getting a little nervous. We're going to probably move on for no other reason than uh, there's a thunderstorm coming. He's in the cocked and loaded position at this point. Nothing else good can come of this. So what we'll do is we will let it go here and be on our way. Yeah.